I know Coach Burrell, this is y'all first time ever playing for her pretty much. Mm -hmm. How does it, like, what does she do each night to keep y'all together as a unit? Starting with you, Zephoria. Man, she done a lot. We do a lot of team bonding and um, service learning projects, you know, outside of um, GSU. So that's another way of, you know, bonding. That's that, building that sisterhood. So Coach Burrell, she, she's a great coach overall, you know, on the court and off the court. I go to our office like every chance I get just to chill and talk to her, you know. So, yeah. It's just an amazing feeling, and I never had a coach that, you know, did so many projects and want us to be together and build that chemistry, you know, that we have right now. So, she, she was great. She's great. What about you, Raven? How do you feel? She's like, she's the best coach I've ever came across. Hmm. I don't want to throw any hate, <laughs> you know, towards all my other coaches, but um, as I was very iffy about female coaches. Mm. Like, I've came across some female coaches that was just outright crazy, you know, and she's just chill. She's, you can talk, you can talk to her. She's very comfortable, you know. It's just, she's great. Like, yeah. this is my first time ever having this experience with a coach that I actually just like, you know, as far as the female aspect of it. Because, you know, men coaches, they don't care. Tough love, <laughs> you know. But she cares about everything. She's, like, Fantastic. I'm glad that she's here. I'm glad we have her as a coach here, mm. you know, and she didn't go anywhere. She's here, you know, to start yeah. that here with a good coach. That's that's great on top of talent. That's good. Yeah, I had like a pretty much it was a short season for y'all this year. Mm -hmm. What were the strong points during the season and what were the bad points? Starting with you, Raven. Um, the strong points during the season was um, we were all able to come together during rough times. Like if we were down 15 points. You know, everyone, when you're, when you're losing, you tend to just say, skip everyone else, it's all about me, you know. But we were able to just come together and say, hey, we all need each other. You know, we need to get this score up. We're not just gonna depend on one player. We're gonna all depend on each other for this, you know. So our strong points was able to just come together during times like that. And we didn't really have too many weak points. And I, I don't think we had too many weak points in the season at all. Well, if, if if we had any weak points, it was just us mm. coming to practice with a bad attitude, yeah. mm. you know, being a sour apple, yeah, <laughs> or you know, just just spreading bad feels or vibes, you know. But that all stopped once we got to know each other. Hmm. Yeah. What about you? How did you feel about that? Well, I, the strong points um, I believe were the pep talks before the game. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we come in the locker room, we change. Probably everybody have their headphones in, listening to music, or you know somebody talking to they, you know, a, a teammate or something. But when the pep talk, we all come together, and it's like our motivation, you know. So I think that is a strong point for us. And for us, the weak points, um, as you stated earlier, is the injuries. You know, we lose some key players, which is you know was kind of like stressful. But a lot of people had to step up, and I think they carry their roles you know, good, so that was our strong and weak points, I believe. What about you, Abby? How do you feel? I feel that the strong points during the season was being able to pull through tough games mm -hmm. and having that co coaching staff to reassure us that we didn't put in all this hard work to just give it all up now. And um, that had a big part to do with our strong points and sticking together as a team. I feel that the weak points was putting in all the hard work before the season started to get us ready for the games because we had early morning practices. It was <laughs> tough. And for everybody to get up out of bed and have that passion to want to get better and do better, that helped us. That helped us a lot. So I feel that the practices and also losing players was a weak point but as Raven said we really didn't have any weak points mm -hmm. because once we came together and all stuck together it was over from there. Mm -hmm. What was so tough about the practices coach put you through? <sighs> Waking up at six o'clock in the morning <laughs> <laughs> doing strength and conditioning this thing she got called beep tests, <laughs> treadmills. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What's the beep test? 
It's a long story. Yeah. <laughs> it's a road to hell. Oh. <laughs> hell and back. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> but uh, it was all worth it, though. Yeah. Made us better. I know y'all face like a couple of semi-pro teams this year. Mm -hmm. um, starting with you, Raven. How does it feel to play against pros? It felt great because we already knew that, hey, they're thinking, oh, this is just Governor's State. We're going to come in and get this win. But a lot of them had to actually walk out and chain <laughs> and say, hey, we got to come back with some better players for these girls because they're balling. Mm -hmm. So the first time they came in, they lost because when you come in and think you're going to win, you're going to lose. So the second, third time we played them, they came back with bigger players, mm. better players, mm -hmm. you know. So it, it felt good to know that, hey, you know, we get to play against these girls and even for our freshmen, for her to get that experience. Like, you know, just because you're a freshman don't mean you're not as good as these girls. Mm -hmm. So that was good. It was a good feel. What about how did you feel like going against semi-pro teams? It gave me a rush. I what went type of rush? Beast mode. Mm. I went to beast mode. I, I love that type of competition. Actually, I actually played against a couple of them girls in like city tournaments and stuff like that. So I just love that type of competition. It just makes me want to just go crazy. Just take off, drop 30. <laughs> <laughs> now, for real, I, I, I love that type of competition though. It's just, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> how, do you, how did you feel going against semi-pro teams? Well, I believe everybody thinks that because of their name, semi-pro, you know, yeah, they got that name, but I just look at it as like they're just another player, another opponent. You know, they, they shoot the ball, you know, the same way I shoot the ball. Is, the point is, that, you know, to score. So I just feel like having the opportunity was a great feeling. And like Ebony said, Couple of them girls I knew because I played with, you know, in the city league or I just know through a friend of mine. So it was a great opportunity to play against, you know, a couple. We played a, quite a few of them, mm -hmm. you know, throughout our season. So it was a great feeling. Y'all might be joining NAIA mm -hmm. next year. Are you guys any nervous or any like, feel like y'all, are y'all good enough to be in the NAIA next year? Sorry, with you, Raven? Yeah, we're, we're good enough to be in the NAIA. <laughs> and no, we don't feel nervous. We shouldn't feel nervous, you know, um, especially coming from other schools. And I've actually played in the NAIA as well before, as well as NCAA. So it's, it shouldn't be any nervousness over here at all. You know, just they're the same players, you know, just different schools and a different name. Yeah. That's all it is. It's, it's really nothing much. Same players. Some better, some worse. <laughs> different school, different name, different what level. You? What about you, Evan? No, no nervousness at all. We prepare for whatever. Our mm -hmm. coach, she, she installs in us toughness. So whatever comes our way, we're ready for whatever. Just because they in a conference called NAIA, we're going to be in there too. Mm -hmm. And y'all put, they put their socks on the same way we put our socks on, shoes and all. Yeah. So it's just... We ready. <laughs> what about you? How do you feel? The only thing they got above us is they already was established. They got years into it, and this our first year. But other than that, like my teammates said earlier, we we work as hard as they do, and Coach Mo's definitely, you know, she she prepare she prepare us for next year and the years to come. So we're most mm -hmm. definitely ready. No nervousness whatsoever. Mm -hmm. With a tough schedule next year. Do you guys feel like y'all compete with the other competition y'all will be facing next year, starting with you, Raven? Yeah, I feel like we can compete with all of the competition that's going to come our way, especially since we're already experienced, you know. And even if we wasn't experienced, you know, the way our coach is set up, she makes sure we're going to be good, you know. She got our back. She, she's not going to leave us out there hanging. She's going to make sure we're prepared for anything that's coming our way. Yeah. Whether they're bigger or smaller, if they're bigger, we might just have to gang up on them, you know? <laughs> so we, we can compete with them. Yeah. How do you feel, Evan? Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel we can compete with them. I don't, I don't doubt us at all. It's just we just have to stay focused mm -hmm. and stay as a whole and just keep that mindset. And nothing can stop us. Yeah, we, we might take some L's, but 
as long as we can do as long as we can do what we can do to prevent those ills, then everything will be okay. How do you feel about that? Um, as my teammates said, I most definitely agree with them. I think we can hang and compete with them. I actually went to a couple games to just like watch and you know just just to go to a game and a school a couple of schools that we that's in our conference next year. So watching them, I'm like, oh, most definitely. And then we already recruiting, so we bringing in more you know talent. So most definitely, I think we can hang and compete for next year.